Welcome back, hodlers and polka dot bulls alike. Today, we're going to be talking about how to add to the Akala crowdfund. Now, I've already contributed, but I realize that some people may have a couple of questions about which projects to contribute to, where to contribute, how to how to go through that. So we will be looking at the step by step process, getting your wallet set up, sending the funds to your wallet and then giving it to a call of crowd loan. Now, one thing I would like to mention is there is another project called Moonbeam. We've talked about it a decent amount on the channel. If you go here and uh, see, you can see if you're eligible to contribute to Moonbeam. I unfortunately am not because I'm from Canada and it seems like the US. So the bulk of my audience uh, probably can't contribute. But if you can, if for whatever reason you are in a country that it is allowed, uh, I would definitely look into contributing to Moonbeam. It's going to be a great success going into it. But we are going to look at Akala. So if you don't know about Akala, Akala is a DeFi kind of DEX financial platform. Corora, the KSM uh, counterpart, has already launched, already went through a successful uh, uh, parachain auction with KSM. Uh, so we know that there's tried and true uh, tests with Corora. You can actively go and play around with Corora right now, uh, especially once you have your Polkadot.js wallet. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it. Now, first and foremost, if you haven't already, and I'll be leaving this link down in the comments or description down below, if you haven't already, you need a polkadot.js browser plugin. You need that plugin to create a wallet. That way you can transfer funds and contribute into the crowd loan. There is a, a mobile app version. If you scroll down, there is a, um, a polka wallet that you can use. I'm not sure if you can use Fearless. I assume you can maybe potentially, uh, but for this, we're just going to be looking at the polkadot.js wallet. Um, for me as a desktop user, it's the easiest for me to use. So I assume for you as well, uh, just go ahead and download that plugin here. You'll get that. And then we have the polkadot.js apps website where you can see a number of different controls. We've seen this before on the channel when we talk about polka swap, but here you have a little bit more options and what you can do with your wallet. So obviously a, a huge capability here on the back end. You don't need to know any of this, so it's okay. We're going to glance over this for a moment. Uh, this is not even going to be a part of what we're doing. So once you have the application, you'll have the little polka dot icon up at the top of your browser. You would click on that icon and then you can see your accounts. Now you can go ahead and create a new account by clicking the plus button. Once you click on that, you hit create new account. So this is, of course, if you don't have an account already. Um, so here it'll give you your seed phrase. Make sure nobody's watching you. Make sure nobody's around and make sure you write this down in a safe location uh, and be as safe with any of your other past phrases. Make sure that you never give this to anybody. At that point, you would click on this and hit the next steps and create this wallet. You can then go ahead and rename the wallet. I, of course, am not going to create it because now you can see the seed phrase. I do, however, have an extra wallet created, and this is what it will look like. So let's say, for example, we rename it to ACA extension. You can rename it to whatever you want. Obviously, clicking on the ellipses here allows you to do that. So just up top, you can hit rename and it's useful as well uh, to kind of keep these things separate. Typically, is if you're using uh, the Polkadot.js wallet a lot, just so you can keep track of all the different things. Um, it doesn't all have to be on the same account. So similar to MetaMask, you can have several different accounts as long as you're keeping each seed phrase. So once you have it created, once you have it renamed, you want to click on the ellipses and make sure to select instead of allow use on any chain, select Polkadot relay chain. The reason why is because we want to send our funds to the Polkadot chain. And I'm assuming you have it on an exchange such as Binance, Kraken, wherever it may be, if it's not already on Polkadot.js. So once it's set, you can go ahead and click on the copy. And now you can use that address to send the funds from your exchange. So for this, I'm going to use Kraken. I'm just going to use 10 dot. So first you want to go ahead and actually add the address, type in the description. Maybe you do a call alone. That way you keep track of it. Once uh, the tax man comes running, hit add. And there you go. Once that's added, we can go ahead and select that. Now at this point, we can go ahead and select how much polka dot we want to send to this wallet. Now, it's important to note that the withdrawal fee is 0 0.05 dot and the minimum withdrawal is 1.05 dot. So at least one dot. So our address has confirmed within the system. Now we're ready to send our dot. So we're going to receive 9.95 dot. Now, it's also important to note that once we send it, we're going to have to keep 1.1 dot on that address that we have to make sure that it doesn't delete and fade away to nothingness. So let's go ahead and hit withdraw and hit continue. 
So our withdrawal is now submitted. At this point, we are just going to wait for that uh, to complete. And as we can see here on our polkadot.js.org website, we can actually see that nine dot has landed into our wallet. So now we're going to look at contributing this to the crowdfund loan for Akala. A couple of things to be aware of. Your Polkadot will be locked up for two years. However, on Akala, you'll be given a liquidity token for your Polkadot, which means that you'll still be able to use that Polkadot to do things like providing liquidity within the system and earning off of that dot while it's still locked up. So you'll still be able to earn a yield on Akala specifically because of how the platform is uh, functioning and how they have to set up for uh, the crowdfund loan participants. So you will still have access in a way to your uh, Polkadot through LC.tokens. So we will go ahead and click on contribute now. We'll, we'll be brought through a couple of different guides here to help you choose exactly what you're going to pick. For me, I hit contribute and stay liquid. That being I get LC.tokens, liquidity.tokens uh, to be able to function on the system with with my ACA and my DOT. Now, of course, your uh, ACA is also vested, so you're not going to get all of it at the first release. You're going to have some vested tokens, which is pretty common with a lot of these platforms. So there is a bit of a wait. This is an investment for a little bit of a longer term uh, investment. So I would encourage you not to use all of your polka dot that you have but at least uh, you know bring in some that it's worthwhile for you to kind of wait it out now you want to scroll down here it will describe exactly what we're looking at about how long the dot is uh, locked up how you will receive your aca your lc dot tokens which is your liquid token for your dot and then how that allows you to access things like swaps liquidities minting uh, and everything else. So you will still be able to play around with that polka dot within the system. It's not completely locked like maybe some other pair chains. So we will go ahead and click on some of these checkboxes. We've installed the polkadot.js browser and extension. And again, if you haven't installed that, you can go ahead and click on that link, which will bring us to this guide here that we went through. Then we select, I do have a dot polkadot.js account. Then we select my dot has been unbonded, which means you're not staking your dot in your polkadot.js account. You're not allocating it to any stake pool uh, or anything like that. So you would select that and confirm, and then you would connect your polkadot.js extension. So at this point, you can see that we have our ACA extension here. We click on these two checks to confirm the terms and conditions, and then click accept and sign. And you'll see on the JS, it'll actually give you the chance to type in your password, whatever password you give it, and then sign that message. So once that message is signed, it'll open up your account and you can see our 9.95 dot is visible. So at this point, we want to go max. Now we do have something called keep alive checks, which means to keep our account alive, uh, being that we need at least a one dot on our account. So this makes sure that we have at least 1.1 dot on our account to make sure that we uh, can facilitate any gas fees or anything. But uh, it, it's important that you keep at least a little bit of polka dot on your account. So at this point, we're ready to contribute the 8.85. Uh, and now we have to enter something called a referral code. If you wish, there is a referral code down in the description below. You can go ahead and use that referral code to actually earn a referral bonus. You can click on the link. It'll bring you directly to this page. I'll also drop the code just in case you just go directly to the link. Um, so if you want, you can go ahead and do that. So we both get a kickback and we get 5%. So at this point, I would actually receive 1.3275 ACA extra. Then we can go ahead and enter in our email. I'm not sure how required it is. But there we go. We have our email entered and then we scroll down and hit submit to contribute. Now, just a couple of things before we contribute. It does show exactly again the times here. ACA uh, unlocked at launch 20 percent. You'll have 100 percent of your LC dot tokens, meaning your liquidity dot tokens. Your dot will be locked up for 96 weeks, so a total of two years. So go ahead and click submit to contribute. It also shows you your rewards right here and you'll be prompted again to go ahead and sign your wallet. So you'll sign that transaction. And now at this point, we wait for this pending process to go through uh, for our tokens to uh, be contributed here. We can go ahead, obviously, if we click off this page, we can always take a look at where it is on Subscan or any other Polkadot kind of um, blockchain uh, lookup tool. And there we go. So we've contributed. We have a total balance left of 1.06 dot. We contributed 8.85 dot. 
We have 8.85 LC dot coming in once the system is live. Um, and then we obviously have uh, 27 to 149 ACA coming to us once this happens. Now you will be given a referral code as well. So please feel free to share your referral code, get as many people into the crowdfund alone as possible. Now, again, I'm pretty bullish on where this system is going to go and I'll be sure to kind of play around with this when it's all live. And again, I didn't contribute all of my dot to this. So at that point, just select done. And there we go. Now we can always come back to this page, select our wallet, make sure it's connected and just click down here, check rewards and balances. If you don't have your account, you can go ahead here, copy your account and then paste that right here and see exactly what you contributed and how many people you referred. That's it for me. Hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, go ahead and give me a like and subscribe to the channel for more crypto news and content. And of course, happy holding.